Hello everyone again. Today I prepared for you a short video clip showing how to pack the belt, tie the belt and the knot, and also pack your karate gi. The karate belt. In Japanese we call this belt obi. The belt is there to show the level of your rank. Also, so that your gi doesn't go opening and closing, so it will close up your gi. So, how do we pack the belt? First of all, the belt should never be packed when you finish the class or before you enter the class by packing it in your bag in this manner. <clears throat> this manner is not the way that you pack your obi, your belt. It looks like a roly poly. And especially if it's a little bit damp or, or it has been like this, packed for more than one, two, three days, then when you unpack it, it will become rolled. So it will, you will wear again a belt which is rolled. This is not the correct way. So find the center. The center is found by putting the two ends side by side and stretching your fingers until you find where the belt folds. That is the center. So the center line to the finishing line and then halfway again. And this is the way you pack your obi, your karate belt. So now I will show you the simple but traditional way on how to fold your karate gi. There are two types of folds. One is called maki no gi and the other one is called shikaku no gi. Maku no gi is the round fashion pattern and the shikaku no gi is the squarish pattern. Let us start with the roundish pattern. What we will do is we have the Karate gi. Fold the lapel parts of the gi exactly in place where the left part is over the right part. So this way. First, place the trousers. I would suggest that the trousers will be placed on opposite ends so that the thick part of the gi top and the thick part, the waist of the trousers are on opposite sides. And then we can go to the first part and the sleeves are again packed on the side, the opposite side and again the gi. The sleeve part is again twisted, flattened down, and then from the bottom part, we start to roll the gi and tie it up with the belt. So there are two ways you can tie the gi up with the belt. The first one is exactly, first find the center, round up the gi and make the knot as if it was like tying your belt to your waist. And that is the way you pack your gi. Another different method for packing your gi and the belt around it in the maki no gi is to place the loop part on the short inside, pass the other both the both ends on the opposite side, lock it like this, so it is like hanging, and this usually is done when you have 
to carry the gi over your shoulder. So gi over your shoulder and off to karate class. The second version on how to pack your karate gi is called the shikaku no gi and this is the square method she being four shikaku no gi so let us see the second version and the only difference now is instead of like the first one the makinogi parts we will pack it in the squarish pattern the first one and the second one so this one now is in a squarish pack center the gi We will loop and loop, so loop and again on the other side, on the other side, place the both ends inside the loop, tighten it up, place the bottom part underneath the whole knot so they become like this we will flip over the gi and with both hands one end will pass beneath both layers and then the other part will pass in between both layers to be rounded up and placed underneath the two layers and they will come locked like this and this is the shikaku no gi the way to fold your gi in a squarish pattern I will show you the way to tie your belt. There are two methods that one uses to tie the belt. We'll first discuss the way we tie the belt around us and then how to perform the knot properly. So there are two versions. One version is with a cross behind your back and the other side and the other version is the one where the belt is in a straight line. Okay, let us do the one with the cross first. So, very important that one must find the middle of the belt, middle of the length. So, place the two ends together, slide down and when both ends loop is the middle. Place the middle exactly on your belly button and rotate. Rotate around your waist. Switch and shift both ends so that you will tighten up and continue to go around your waist. If you notice, 
we have the X form, the belt here cross each other. And then move over to make a cross in front. The top part of the belt will pass underneath. Make sure it is, you have even ends, equal. And then the top part will pass underneath the lower part. And a good pull to tighten up the belt. So now you will have the belt with both ends looping down. Important that both ends must be equal length. The second method is where we do not have a cross, but they will be in one straight line. So what we shall do is just take one end of the belt, one end of the belt, wrap it on one side, keep hold, because if not, it will fall again. Keep hold with the other arm, Rotate behind the back, bring it over, keep hold and tighten it up. So this side now is locked, it will not fall. Continue to rotate until both ends arrive to the front of your body. So make sure that both ends are equal length. Tighten it up and if you notice now when I turn on my back, both sides of the belt are exactly on top of each other. So now there is no cross on the back. What we shall do is exactly the same as we did in the first method. Top part of the belt goes underneath. Underneath everything. Lock up and tighten it up. Make sure that both ends are equal. The top part will pass underneath the lower part and enter again in this loop. Good tight, pull, and both hands must become drooping down on both sides. Important that you have equal ends. If not, if not, because sometimes this thing will happen. So what we, well, what we will do is pull the shorter end so that it will come equal length. And then again, start to hold, to do the knot. Underneath, go tight, pull, upper part, cross, inside and a tight pull so this is what now is called the straight line method the knots are the same they remain the same important that both ends are dropping down and not one side up or one side down or shorter one shorter than the other I hope that people will at least use one of the patterns so that they can pack the gi in the traditional way and not when you finish the class. As I see many students do, the moment you finish the class, this is the way they pack the gi. This is not the way, this is, this is a way to 
disgraced be. And also don't forget before you leave, you say thank you to your sensei. After all, he did give his time so that you can become a better student and have a stronger character. See you in the next video lesson. Try to remember, it will be about the kata jiong.